What is good people? Welcome back to another episode of Drive Time Crypto and today we are going to be looking at the Songbird token. I've had a lot of people asking me about it, trying to understand what it is and where they can get it from so I thought I'd just do a quick video just to highlight and outline some stuff. So let's get right to it. So if you are not aware, Songbird has come from the Flare Network which is running on the XRP ledger and they have launched a Canary Network and what this is, is basically it is a network which is an operational blockchain and it has a defined hence scarce token supply on it and it's designed to really test the features for a related main net so basically you can put it into what's known as quite a, a like a hostile environment because the tokens can have value to it and because they can have value to it that means that it could be a ten, potential up for attack and it just starts stress testing the network and this is why they launched the canary network first before they operate the main network which will be the flare network now, you might say, well, why do I want to buy Songbird if it's just a test token? Well, if you have a look now, basically, the Flare Finance have offered a XFi Songbird snapshot. And if you're not aware of what snapshot is, so basically, they're going to take a snapshot of all the balances holding Songbird and Rap Songbird. I'll get into Rap Songbird in a, in a little while and explain what that is. But basically, on the 12th of December on uh, of this year at 7 p.m., uh, basically what they're going to do is they're going to take a snapshot of everybody that holds Songbird and as a reward from holding Songbird and allowing them to run this Canary test net, they will reward them with free crypto. So an airdrop basically and the free crypto will be XFi and if you want to know about XFi, if you watch till the end of the video, there'll be another video on this where I will explain what XFi is as well and what you can do with that coin. I don't really want to go into too much about this because I want to cover on Songbird. But yeah, this is why they, they offer these extra rewards to incentivize people to use Songbird. And basically, for every 235 Songbird that you own, you will get one XFi coin. So there's the incentive into why it's old Songbird. I'm going to... First, show you how to get it on an exchange. I'm going to be using BitTrue. And with that, I'm going to show you how you can buy Songbird because it's not as straightforward as just going onto a exchange and buying it outright. You've got to do a little bit of playing around with it. But yeah, so I'm going to show you in this video how to buy some Songbird. And then in the next videos, I will show you how to download a trusted wallet for it, which they're going to take a snapshot from. And I'll show you how to stake it so you can also earn free Songbird before you get the free XFi tokens as well so with that being said let's move on to the exchange so as mentioned before i'm going to be using the bittrue exchange now the reason why i'm using the bittrue exchange is because when songbird first got released uh, if you held xrp on certain exchanges the amount of xrp you held resulted in a free airdrop of songbird how i mentioned before what was going on going on with the xfi token now there was a lot of exchanges at first and they are still doing it at the moment which are withholding the songbird airdrop from the people that are rightfully owners of it because they held their xrp on the exchange nevertheless bittrue straight away sent the songbird over to any address that was warranting the rewards so therefore i feel like it's a much better exchange to show you how to do it on because they are fair and honest and have distributed the free tokens in the past. So in case you want to leave your Songbird on this exchange and just wait for the snapshot there, then you can do it on this with the confidence that you will probably get your X5 tokens as well. Not guarantee because I, I don't want to guarantee people just in case it doesn't happen, but I'm very, very confident that it would happen on this platform but nevertheless you could always send it to a hardware wallet which i'll show you in the next video so what you need to do is you need to open up a browser and you need to go to the bittrue website up there which is bitrue.com and then when you get there you will get this page here once you're here what you're going, we're going to need to do is we are going to need to sign up 
So fill in these details here and then you will have a membership. So if you've not already got a BitTrue account and the free way to support this channel, if I could ask you to pop in our invitation code there, it's a free way of supporting the channel and it means that any sort of transactions you get, I'll get a little bit of kickback on it for referring you. Or if you're signing up on the phone using using the app, if you'd like to scan this QR code, it does exactly the same and it just lets you use it as a referral code and it'd be really appreciated. Let's continue. So you have created your account on BitTrue and you get the welcome screen and it's going to have lots of fantastic new offers for you to explore and have a look around. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go straight over and to the buy and sell tab that's at the top here. So as you click on it, it's the one step buy or sell and you've got a multiple of choices to choose from. I'm going to click on the credit card simplex one. Now, what you'll see is you'll see which coin you want to buy. So if I click on there and you start scrolling down, you see all the different coins you're able to buy. There's a quite a few that you're able to buy on here. But what you'll notice is in this whole menu, there is no songbird. And that is because you cannot buy it directly you have to trade it and it has two trading pairs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just go explain a little bit about what the trading pair is. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go up to the exchange tab up here and you click on that. And what we're going to have to do is find out what the trading pairs are for it. Now, there's a lot of numbers, there's a lot of figures on this screen. It can be a bit overwhelming, a bit daunting if you've never worked on an exchange like this before where the user interface isn't as friendly. But what, what you're looking at is here's all your different types of coins. So you've got Bitcoin, US Tether, uh, another stable coin, USDC, and then you've got your alts as XRP, Ethereum. And what you're going to do is you're going to have a look for this songbird to token, which is SGB ticker. So you start having a look down there and you have a look what's traded off against Bitcoin. And it's all in alphabetical order. So you go down and you try and find the S and you notice that the SGB token isn't there against Bitcoin, meaning that you can't buy Bitcoin and exchange it for songbird. So what you're going to do is you're going to have again, you're going to go over to Tether, go down to S. And lo and behold, when you get down there, there's quite a few coins. You will see there it is. It is SGB against USDT, which is Tether. But just to speed stuff up, just to show you, the other pay trading pair is on XRP. So you've got a choice of two there, which one you want to trade it against. So... What you'd have to do then is you would go back to the buy and sell and you click on your buy and you click on XRP. If you wanted to buy XRP and then trade that into Songbird or if you have already got a crypto wallet and you have XRP, you are able to deposit XRP into it. But for the, for the sake of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate that I've bought some XRP on the, the buy sell function. So you've now bought your XRP on whichever one that you decided to do or you've had it sent over from a different wallet. So you can then go to your assets and if you have a look in spot there, it will show you what assets you hold. So there you can see I've put in 29 XRP. So once you know that you've got some XRP sat there, what you need to do then is you need to go to the exchange. Now, if you remember, what it said was that you could either do it in US dollar tether or you can do it in XRP. So what you need to do is you need to come over to where it says alt on the left hand side there. Choose XRP. And then when you've chosen XRP, you want to scroll down this part here and you'll find sgb slash xrp you click on that one and then what it does is it brings up this chart here if you if you're not familiar with this i'm i'm doing this video for the people that aren't really used to seeing 
uh, wicks and candles, etc. This is all the different trading that's gone on at the moment. You can see it's on a 15 minute chart. So that shows you from the, the start of today, which is there, every 15 minutes what the prices has been as as we go through the day but you don't really need to concern yourself with that at the moment the the area that you need to concern yourself with here's this part down here to buy the songbird now at the moment the price of songbird is sat at 36 cents now you can put whatever price you want in there so if you want to set a lower price thinking it's going to come down in price as you can see a couple of hours ago it was sat just at 34 you can change the price of that so that you can you can set whatever price you want to but if you just want to buy the songbird because you're happy at the price that it's at and you you wanting to, to to invest in it so basically what you're going to do is you're going to set the price there and then you're going to choose how much of your xrp as you can see your xrp balance is there how much you want to buy so i'm going to go ahead and click buy there and as you can see down here if you're not quick enough blink and you will miss it what happens is it sets up a order and it disappeared straight away there that is it i have now bought some songbirds so if i go back to assets and i go back to my assets you can now see that I've I've got a fraction of a, an XRP down there, but I now actually hold 79 Songbird. Now that isn't enough to get you the X5 token because the, the the minimum Songbird you need to own is 236 and some decimal points. But this is just for demonstration purposes. But there you have it. That's how you buy some songbirds. If you want to understand how you can now move that to a wallet and start staking the songbird, wrapping it up, delegating it and earning free songbird on that as well, then click through on the title screen at the end on the tiles. That will take you to our, my next video where I'll show you how to do the Bitfrost wallet. With that being said, I'm going to end this video on tutorial here. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, if you can give me a like, a comment, or even better, if you could subscribe, that'd be great. And I will try and keep you up to date with all the happenings that may be going on within cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next video.